What happened to your neck, and why are you wearing this brace? Uh, well, about three weeks ago uh, in North Carolina, we were boogie boarding, and I sort of caught a wave that was bigger than I thought and got underneath it. So the wave lifted me up and then dumped me, you know, headfirst into the into the bottom, basically. And uh, it was kind of a freak accident. Um, I knew sort of what had happened at, at that at that moment. It was at the end of the day; the tide was coming in, um, and the water wasn't that deep. It was only about four feet deep. But uh, the impact, um, and then the weight of the wave, uh, compressed my vertebrae. Uh, you know, I, my head stayed, and my body went the other way. So I damaged my spinal cord, and was uh, actually paralyzed from the neck down, in the water. <laughs> so I have to say that was kind of a, uh, you know, kind of one of those moments where, you know, I, I definitely thought it was my time, and uh, so you're, you're conscious, conscious, yeah, but which you was can't a, that move was amazing. Couldn't and yeah. you're under the water. Yeah. Now you and the love of your life <laughs> decided to have seven children, right. right? You're the father of seven children. Yeah. And at this time, it seems like it was a good idea to it have seven <laughs> kids because who came and retrieved? Well, my my uh, my son Nicholas, who's uh, now the same height as I am, he doesn't weigh as much as I do, but he was uh, he was out there with me, and he had no idea what had happened, and uh, I I was able to look. For some reason, I could see underneath the water, which I usually can't see in the salt water. So there must have been something going on to help me make it through this, and uh, he he didn't really even know that I was there. You know, he I saw him sort of looking away, and I'm underwater. So I said, you know, if I try to yell underwater, we've done experiments with that. The kids all want to, can you hear me? Like you're under the pool. If I you can't hear yeah. anything. And I oh. said, if I do that underwater, nothing's going to happen. I said, maybe I'm going to get my head turned a little bit because I spotted him. And uh, maybe it, something happened where the waves sort of pushed me and my head was just above water, like not even. And you literally can't move. Splits, I can't move anything, yeah. And I just got, I got like a help. You know, I didn't even get the full help, and then I saw him look over at me, and he's like, "Oh crap!" And he immediately rushed to me and pulled me out. You know, I was back down in the water as soon. And as he I, stabilized your neck and your back until. Well, emergency. no, he didn't really know what had happened. He just sort of got me to the shore, uh -huh. and then once we got, to, he got me as far as he could, and then some guys helped, uh, the, some surfers that were there, wow. and um, pulled me up there, and I was, you know, basically. <laughs> you know, thinking, well, that's one problem solved. At least I'm not drowned and paralyzed. So got onto the beach, uh, and then I told him, well, I think you guys should move me a little further up the beach because the waves were coming in. And then a wave completely. But meanwhile, went. you can't move no, your arms, can't you move. can't move your legs, no. you're just going, hey. No. Once they got me up further, I started to feel my right arm, and then I immediately tried to lift it, and it was kind of like, you know, it basically flopped on top of me. Oh my God. And then they were panicked that don't move, don't move, you know, and. And you know, someone was holding my head, and uh, you know, my concern was uh, my son was there. He was kind of upset. He was looking over. So, so how many of the seven kids did you have on this particular vacation? It was just, just Nicholas and oh. Christopher, my ten-year-old, was there, and he ran. He thought I was bit by a shark. Oh, jeez! So he was running down the beach, pretty randomly. And this, well, what are we now? Uh, September third. So this was two, three weeks ago now. Yeah, it was the 18th. It was August wow. 18th. Wow. And, uh, you know, from there it was, you know, I st the feelings started coming back. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, what it was is, is the spinal cord is damaged, and then it either comes back or it doesn't come back. It's kind of a, it's very dicey. Wow. And it came back. At, I could start feeling, you know, the rest of my body uh, mm -hmm. probably 20, 30 minutes. And then when I went back in the ambulance, I really started feeling you know, the rest, the wow. rest of my body. And then when I got there, the only thing was my arms were, uh, I wasn't feeling much or I was feeling like this pain thing.